I just heard a couple gunshots. That's not good. Hey everybody, Jeff here. I am headed out to Mesa right now to go get an unknown snake inside of a house. We'll see what's going on. He said it looked like a corn snake or a ball python. I don't know what to think about that because it's a how you know a snake inside of a house, so maybe that that's a possibility. But the likelihood of it being probably a night snake or a gopher snake is pretty high. So we'll see. How's it going? So, Where's our bud? He's in the underneath that TV entertainment system. Underneath this? Yeah. Okay. Just focus in. Right there. Okay. Looks like a gopher snake. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. How are you doing? Other than having a snake in your house. Right. Yeah. Oh. yeah, there's just a little baby one here. No. I know. Oop. There it is. Yeah, just a little. It's a really pretty one though. This is your first time having a snake in the house? Yes. It's got some really nice yellows to him. I like him. Hey everyone, headed to a call in South Phoenix. Lady just called. She has a rattlesnake in her yard and I guess it's just cruising around. It's uh, raining and stormy out, so perfect weather for rattlesnakes to be cruising. Uh, and I guess she sold this one this morning, uh, but it is not going away, so I'm going to go grab it for her. Okay, it's, it's started moving. Oh, did he? But it hasn't moved much from this morning. Yeah, usually they stay all day and then he might go somewhere tonight, but he very well could come back later. Yeah, I, I, I just thought, because we've never seen him in the mornings. Yeah. We usually see him in the evenings, but this morning he was right on the patio. Oh, was he? And he got from the patio to here, and that's it. That's it. So he's, I, like you can see. Oh, right yeah. There. Oh, wow. That's a tiger. Yes. A tiger. Tiger oh. rattlesnake. Sweet. Oh, I'm scared. I don't no, you're him. good. You're good. He won't get you. Any of that business. Let's get a picture of him. He's cool. Look how fat it is. All of ours before have been the blue speckled. Oh, cool. Those are my favorite. This, yeah, I know everybody's favorite. <laughs> but I like tigers this, too. This is the first one that's... What it sounds like. Oh, it's that easy. Serious. Come get a look at him. Look it. Cool. So cool. Oh, good. So you haven't had a tiger before, huh? No. Sweet. We, I don't get a lot of tigers on relocations. I mean, South oh, really? Mountain's just like an awesome place because we have so many different species. Are they usually that chill when you just try to take them? Yeah, I mean, if you're calm, you know, they're calm. I didn't squeeze them very hard, so. Well, and the blue speckles never even rattled. Hmm. None of oh, our yeah. blue speckles even <laughs> rattled. They were like, okay. So, so what do you do with them, them now? I'll hike them back into South Mountain, away from the houses and uh, oh, wow. put them in a good spot. You guys have a good All right, I'm going out for a walk. Look at a beautiful gopher snake. That thing is so nice. But I'm just taking it out for a walk here out in this desert. And just no need to carry a bucket this go around. All right, here we go. This little gopher snake. Really nice one. I've said that a couple times, but I don't know if you can see it, but he's got some really nice yellow. Oh man, he really wants to go. Okay, bye. It actually just rained and it rained fairly hard for a very short amount of time. I just so happen to know in this area there are a lot of diamondbacks that just like hanging out. I would not put it past, especially with this rain, seeing something slithering around or wanting to take a drink from this rain. So while I wait for the phone to ring, I'm going to just kind of see what's going on over here and maybe I can find a friend. All right. Trying to find a spot for this tiger rattlesnake. It's raining, so I wouldn't be surprised if I ran into another snake. I just heard a couple gunshots. That's not good. Um, I don't like it. As Jeff always says, uh, it's scary when you're hiking in the, the desert alone at night. I turned and I saw a saguaro and I got really scared. There was a person behind me, but it was just a cactus. <laughs> I didn't get that reaction on camera, thankfully, because I got really scared. <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna hurry and find a spot so I can get out of here. All right, we got this gorgeous tiger rattlesnake. Look at that thing. Look at how gray it is. So pretty, it's got a little pink on the side. You can probably can't see that on the camera, but it definitely looks really good in person. Look at 
It's a big tiger rattlesnake. Nice hole up there for you. Look at that snake. Oh, gorgeous. See you, bud. All right, well, it started to rain pretty good here. Um, it feels really good out, but it's super dark. So I'm probably gonna head back to my car because I'm getting kind of scared out here. But that was a gorgeous tiger rattlesnake, super gray. That home was right on South Mountain. I guess she saw the snake this morning, uh, but it didn't go away and they do have dogs in their yard. Uh, so she wanted me to take it out of there for her. All right, well, I didn't lie to you. We got a diamondback drinking from, I interrupted it, so it stopped, but we got a diamondback sitting out here getting some rain. That's beautiful. And my phone is ringing right now, and I believe it's another Mesa call, so I'm gonna leave this guy alone and go answer this. I am running down this trail so that I can get to this house. They're kind of in a hurry. It's on the back porch, so kind of taking a little jog here to get to the car. Already a cool night, man. All right, I'm headed this direction, and my fuel light is on, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm only like one mile away from this call, so <laughs> I think I'll at least get there. So it's under our doormat. Oh, under the doormat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see it. It's a little head sticking out. Oh yeah, a little uh, Mojave rattlesnake, actually. It is. Is this your first one? Yeah, this is the first one. I kind of wondered if it would be a Mojave just because this this part of the of Mesa, Gilbert, Santan area where it's all like where the desert is really flat otherwise, mm -hmm. tons of Mojaves. It's almost like when we dispatch calls to each other, if it's in this neighborhood, we're all like, well, have fun catching a Mojave rattlesnake. Sure, <laughs> yeah. It looks really similar to the one that was at my mom's, just way smaller. Yeah, especially the when they're- head. Yeah. That's what it looks. Yeah, so you got that, you have the big head and then the black and white bands and the tails. That, oh, sure. That the rattlesnakes, at least in this part of town, are all gonna have. Oh, wow. Man, they're crazy looking. Yeah. It's not often you get a look at one up close, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, I had to hurry and leave that one. I did get to inspect the yard, but I got another call, a third one tonight, and it is again only three miles away from me. My gas light is still on, so I'm a little bit nervous, but again, it's only three miles, so I, I, I think I can do it. We'll see. Hello, we're here to catch a snake. Yeah, come on. yeah okay. Well yeah, I can go around. Is it just over here in the back porch? No, it's uh, yeah, it's on the back porch. It's in the weight machine. We have a weight machine back there. Oh, okay. That's kind of den worthy. So his head is literally right here in this corner, and he's looking out right here. So he's bend down, see his body. Oh yeah. But his head. Uh, I got a tiny little baby one in my bucket. I just finished another call oh my here. God. I finished and I was like finishing up one when I saw the messages come through. So just that he can't get out. It's a little baby one. Oh, this one's like five times right in this corner, huh? Yeah. Uh, woo. There's that. You want a picture of it or anything? Yeah. So what do you think there's like a hole or a... So those rocks concern me just a little bit. Some, even rattlesnakes, dens that I know of, any man-made structure that has rocks that they can get underneath and get out of like frost line in the winter and stay at like a good temperature, they like that stuff. So I would definitely yeah, if you can, I definitely would because I would bet a lot of money that this rock pile is the reason that snake is here. Came out, yeah. yeah, I would, and it's raining right now, and 
and the snakes are like coming out right now. Look, this is my third call of the night in Mesa. <laughs> and when I was releasing the first one, I ran across another one that was out and it had come out of a den that looked like this, like a rock pile just out in the desert. Yep. Um, and it had come out and it was drinking the rain. I, I saw that and I stopped and I go, ah, I should probably talk to him about that. Yeah. Cause it was probably living in that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, third one. If you wanna make a snake den in your backyard, that is what you do. First things first, I need to get gas and then I will release the snake. I hope that I can get to the gas station. I made it. So that's disgusting, but we're not gonna talk about that. I have a 20 gallon tank and I was cutting it pretty close. <laughs> I only had a couple miles left. Okay, so I got two rattlesnakes in a bucket. I got an angry woo, diamondback and a little Mojave. I'm going to release this Mojave first. Oh, I know. Into this hole right here. There's a pack rat nest. Whew. Gonna put this on the bucket. I got this little Mojave right here, and there's a pack rat nest right here out in the flats. This guy would love. There's a hole right here. Maybe he'll take that. Or maybe he won't. Okay. He'll figure it out. And then there's a pack rat nest right there. That's where a lot of the Mojave rattlesnakes den in the wintertime is a pack rat nest. So let that go. I gotta go and get rid of the grumpy diamond back. So if you've noticed, most of the videos I have here are at night and that's because I work the night shift for the most part. That can be really crazy or it can be extremely slow and extremely boring. There are nights I'll be on the line all night, not a single call, but then cool weather like this happens where there's an event and then the animals all just move at the same time and I'm running around all night. And those are the kinds of nights that I've been able to take video and run into snakes while releasing things. And those are my favorite kinds of nights. Okay, so what in the name of all things that is terrifying is that? I mean, I know what it is, it's a coyote skull, but what? All right, your turn. Ooh. Angry, angry, angry. Oh, I know, I know. There you go. There's a nice pack rat nest right here. And I'll just, there's a lot of holes right here and I know that he's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna let him find those holes and be good with it. Nice. See you later. There's another one. Ha ha ha.